The World Health Organization is apparently going to use impox for monkeypox to tattle to tackle the stigma. Pox, bip, da, da, boo, ba, bit, ba, ba. It's, I mean, almost there. It's almost a Hanson song. Mmm, pox. That's what they're going to call it. I'm not kidding you. This is actually a real story that Reuters published yes, actually this morning, early this morning. They said they're going to start using the new preferred term, mmm, pox. Mmm, pox, bip, da, da, do, wa, bit, ba, ba, as the synonym for monkey pox. And they are urging other people to follow suit. Because, now remember, they didn't want to talk about it originally because they didn't like the stigma about, you know, how you get it. I got another name for it that I really... You want to know my other name? I do. Yeah? It's called... Uh, I mean, it could I mean, it could be... There's a couple of other things that it could be. Yeah. I mean, because that... But they said at first they didn't want to talk about it because they were worried about the stigma that they and they were the only ones who placed the stigma, by the way. I just happened to know they were like, well, we didn't want to we didn't want anyone to think that it was an STD, particularly amongst individuals who like romantical times of the butt variety. We did not want to give anyone the impression that we were stigmatizing that, you know. So they were very concerned originally about those optics. Now they said, now it's changed. They said, now that the current name for the disease is racist. The World Health Organization is saying this. So they said, I don't know why it's... I. Did anyone think about... No one thought anything about race until the World Health Organization was like, everyone think about race. Okay, so we're thinking about it now because you brought it up. They said that because they're, they're changing the names up. They said both names are going to be used simultaneously for one year while monkeypox is phased out. So see, you can use mm, pox, bit, ba, da, ba, da, and also monkeypox. You can use both of those. But we're going to phrase the monkeypox one out. Then people are going to be like, what's the M stand for in monkeypox? I mean, M pox, sorry. Really? You people are utter morons. No, we, we don't want the unky in it, so we're going to take that part out and leave the mm. It's just mm, pox, bip, da, but it's just that now. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. No, no, you got to now. I've got I me mean, feel like we need it now. Mmm, pox. Get to the you got to take the unky out because the World Health Organization says now all of a sudden it's bad. No one was thinking about it. No one even thought about it, but the World Health Organization is here putting the racism back in racism. Wait, that doesn't make sense. doesn't make sense just as much as taking the unky out. I mean, who sits there? They're sitting there at a board meeting with Dr. Ted Rose, a guy with basically two first names as one first name. And let's see, he was just writing out that, that verse until he gets to the chorus. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'm waiting on is him. It, yeah, here is this. We didn't know we were going to go here today, folks. You know, we just thought this was going to be a real easy show. We we're going to recap you on all things wokery. I didn't know I was going to be telling you about this. The no, no. don't say the unky part. It's the same thing. Same thing. Just don't say unky. <laughs> That's why isn't that there for? That Is that a Hanson's follow-up song? Don't say unky. Yeah, don't say unky. I don't know how that. I forgot how that melody goes, but that should be really, you know, taking the unky out of mpox. Can, so can we? This is like a South Park skit. So if they think, let's just like go along with it for a moment. So if they think it's a slur, right? They're saying that it's a slur, which I've literally have never thought. Again, they're talking about a virus that seems to be predominantly spread. By bump and rumps. <laughs> that was the name of the album by Hanson. <laughs> that was the album name. So, <laughs> it's the turkey. <laughs> what else to say? Oh, for real though. Let's be serious. We're talking about health, and you people are not taking this seriously. Let me get. Let's get back on track. We're talking about serious medical professional things here. 
science and and professionalism. So it is, as I was saying, it is a virus that is spread predominantly by romantical activities of the Heine variety. And they, that I mean, at first they didn't want it to, they, they didn't want to call it really anything because they thought there would be a stigma. And now I don't know where race comes in. So I just think, like, if you're saying a slur, isn't this, I mean, let me just ask the question, isn't them saying that it's MPOX the equivalent of just saying, like, a slur but taking it out and just leaving the first consonant? Right? You're, you're keeping it still. Yeah. Right? So you're still saying it. Wait, M. M still stands for monkey, right? M is still monkey? Yeah, I mean, the M is in there. Okay. I wonder what Monkey Bop song was from uh, Hanson. So, I mean, it. So, are people going to go, well, what's the M about? Yeah, it's clearly Monkey. <laughs> but you can't say that. You can say the M pox. Mm. Can I just, isn't that just sort of in the parlance of our times? That's the equip. So, that's just like, if you're still saying, identifying as that, isn't that. Like just saying, you know, consonant word or whatever, just like a slur, right? So it's still a slur. So you're still using the slur because you're a bigot, World Health Organization. You're a damn dirty bigot with your mm, pox, bip, ba, da, da, do. Um. I just, is that going to make people get it less? Calling it mpox. Is it going to no. make people get it less? I don't think so I guys think, it's less contagious we took the yunkie out i think there is specific behavior that leads to it spreading less yeah we can't talk about that because that's the world health organization not educating us so we have to st- we're the we the reason that people are getting it kane is because the unky was in it i see the unky made it more contagious doesn't, made it contagious doesn't sound like science that when is you, science when you say it like that it's the same science that says that an individual with a frankenbeans is a woman It is the same science, sir. Got it. There you go. I'm just saying. It's starting to make sense now. I, you know, that's why it's contagious. It's big. Now it's going to stop. They solved it. It's gone now. You don't have to worry about it. (laughs) 